Google has dominated the internet for the past 20 years. But with recent developments in the AI space, for the first time in history, Google's supremacy is under threat from their arch nemesis. From humble beginnings in a garage in Menlo Park in 1995, Google has become the trillion dollar gatekeeper of the internet and in 2021 made $256 billion in revenue. That's almost as much as your mother's OnlyFans page. 80% of the company's revenue comes from advertising from a mixture of search ads or MMBA's favorite, YouTube ads. Their nearest competitor, Microsoft's search engine Bing, only has 9% market share, despite being the search engine of choice for Spider-Man. Up until this point, Google has never really had a threat. We know this because Google literally means search. No one has ever said, yeah, I'll bring that. If the name of a brand becomes a noun or a verb, like Googling or grabbing an Uber, that brand is the de facto market leader. However, for the first time in two decades, this has changed. Google are so worried about this that in December 2022, they declared a code red internally. So what are they worried about? Chat GPT. The chatbot started by OpenAI has taken the internet by storm. And really, there hasn't been this much excitement online since, well, this. ChatGPT is a program that can instantly answer questions or prompts like, or in some cases, even better than a human or a search engine. Think Jarvis, but without the British accent. Welcome home, sir. Twitter has been flooded by examples of ChatGPT's prowess. Writing code, composing poems and songs, solving complex mathematical equations, and even telling jokes. Seems to be a bit behind on the Your Mama jokes, though. Nonetheless, the chatbot has captured the imagination of the public in a way no product has done in a very, very long time. It went so viral that it amassed 1 million users within one week of launching in November 2022. And all of this is great news for the company behind ChatGPT, OpenAI. Open AI was founded as a non-profit in 2015 with the goal of building an artificial general intelligence that benefits all of humanity. A noble goal for a non-profit to have. That was until 2019 when it turned into a for-profit company after the executives suddenly remembered that they liked the idea of getting filthy rich. Now this is all pretty interesting but where does Microsoft come into this? Microsoft invested 1 billion in OpenAI in 2019 and is planning to invest a further 10 billion this year in the company. This will value OpenAI at a phenomenal 29 billion dollars. Not bad for a company burning through 3 million every single day in computing costs alone. Microsoft is betting big on the future of AI and they believe that OpenAI will deliver that future. But why is chat GPT and its links to Microsoft so alarming and potentially disruptive for Google? Let's go back through your Google search history and type in your latest prompt. As you probably will remember, Google surfaces some search results that will get you to a website with the answer you're looking for. The reason why Google has dominated the search space for so many years is because they provide the highest quality search results for users. But here's the problem. Let's ask ChatGPT the same question. ChatGPT has instead scanned the entire internet and has derived an answer for you instantly. No clicking, no searching, and no ads. It completely breaks Google's business model. ChatGPT isn't even a search engine. It's an answers engine. And without search, Google doesn't make any money. This paradigm shift in the market is such an existential threat to Google that their CEO, Sundar Pooji, has shelved the work of numerous groups inside the company to focus specifically on responding to the threat that ChatGPT poses. This threat has elevated further since Microsoft is reportedly preparing to launch a version of its Bing search engine that uses the artificial intelligence behind ChatGPT to answer some search queries directly. But does this mean that a ChatGPT powered Bing is about to rise like a phoenix from the ashes, completely crush Google and make a Kim Kardashian style comeback? She gets, she gets come on her back I think. I don't think so. But ChatGPT has exposed the wider problem that Google will need to act on. You can build an incredibly performant chatbot experience using deep learning models that theoretically any company with enough resources can build. While a billion dollars seems like a lot to us, it's chump change to the tech giants dominating this industry. Over time, Amazon, Meta, and all these big tech companies will inevitably leverage their own very similar deep learning models. And by using the same publicly available data, they will all converge on the same outcome. A chat, GPT like chatbot application. Same data, similar models, same outcome. In fact, Google is reportedly planning on launching their own large language model chatbot called Sparrow later in 2023 in a bid to catch up with OpenAI. Sparrow has been developed by DeepMind, Google's AI research team, known best for building programs to humiliate the world's best chess players and is so impressive that one of Google's own employees claimed that the AI was a sentient being. In English, 
he thought it had a soul. So while Google will have an answer to ChatGPT soon, the problem they face is that there will be a paradigm shift in the search market. This shift will be characterized by a departure from a centralized search market with Google at its core to a decentralized search market with high quality search results available from a variety of providers. Search in the form of chatbots. And they will be embedded directly within devices and applications and will be provided by a variety of different companies. Consumers will be able to get high quality search results from everywhere, nested in all applications they're using, as opposed to having to go to Google for all of the answers. In this future search market, the big winners will be companies with two things, data and distribution. Take Apple for example. Apple has 1.8 billion active devices worldwide and with all the proprietary data they have access to, they will be able to train their own chatbot on this data set only available to them. And this will create a chatbot optimized for their customers. Then they will be able to deploy this chatbot to over a billion users on iPhones, iPads and Macs simultaneously and instantaneously. A terrifying prospect for Google. And while Google have their own own proprietary data from all their products and incredibly wide distribution through Android devices, which they will benefit from, their status as the default search tool on Apple and Microsoft devices is under threat. There are still numerous problems to be worked out with ChatGPT and chatbots in general, such as how companies will monetize them. ChatGPT in its current form has only been trained on data up until 2021, so it does have a huge gap in its knowledge of current events and trying to unpack the legal ramifications of giving answers derived by other companies' data for which they will get nothing in return. Google isn't going anywhere anytime soon, but it appears their era of utter dominance is coming to an end. So while Microsoft and ChatGPT may not kill Google themselves, Themselves, they will play a big part in this search revolution that will eat away at Google's lead. There may not be one single winner, but there will be one certain loser. Still don't believe us? Let's see what ChatGPT thinks.